So in this question number 6, we have to look for a plant in which the photorespiratory loss is less or it avoids. It has improved water utilization efficiency and photosynthetic rate is also high. So these are the three categories of the plant C3, C4 and CAM you know with respect to the photosynthesis. So let's look first at the photorespiratory loss. So in the case of the C3 plants the photorespiratory loss is maximum. So this is out of the scenario now. So now we have to choose the right option from the C4 and CAM plants. If we talk about the water utilization efficiency, C4 plants as well as the CAM plants, both they can prevent the water loss. Maximum water loss, maximum water utilization efficiency is with the C4 plants. Now still we are unable to find the right option for this question. So now we have to look into the rate of photosynthesis. So when we talk about the maximum rate of the photosynthesis, surely and surely maximum rate of the photosynthesis is performed by the C4 plants. It means the right option for this question is option number three. Right. So let's move on to the question number seven here. So now question number seven, this is related to the photosynthetic experiments, very important experiment performed by the scientist Emerson on the chlorella. Now let's look into this part of the experiment that is the red drop effect. Emerson gave monochromatic light monochromatic light to the chlorella and enumerated the rate of photosynthesis. What he observed when the light given to the chlorella was more than 680 nanometer. When the light given that was more than 680 nanometer, there was a sharp decrease in the rate of photosynthesis. Sharp decrease fall in the rate of photosynthesis that's what he called it as red drop effect. Then the second experiment was performed by the Emerson. Now what he did he gave 680 nanometer of light that is the short wavelength of the light to the chlorella and simultaneously provided 700 nanometer of the light when 680 nanometer and 700 nanometer of the light was provided simultaneously there was sharp increase in the rate of photosynthesis so now it's not the fall now it's increase and what he called it as immersion enhancement effect. Now what we can conclude out of this? From this we can conclude that in the photosynthesis there are two photosystem. In the photosynthesis there is involvement of two photosystem. One which is activated at 680 nanometer that is photosystem 2 and the another one which is activated at 700 nanometer that is the photosystem 1. So from this experiment it was concluded that there is involvement of two photosystem. So right answer for this question is option number 3. So now let's discuss question number 8 here. 